Tom, can I start this podcast with a headline? Yes. We don't usually start with a story, but I saw this mm-hmm. headline over the weekend and this reporter does too much. All right, let's hear Leave it. Leave some intrigue for the story. I don't want to... Okay, okay. Here's okay. the headline from the mm-hmm. Daily Mail. Mm-hmm. Classic reputable source. <laughs> <laughs> Janelle Grant hopes any doors of secrecy at WWE have been blown off okay. by her bombshell sex trafficking lawsuit against Vince McMahon. It's still going. Mm. In which she claims 78-year-old defecated on her head in a threesome. Holy shit. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> literally. <laughs> okay, so WWE, I know that, it's wrestling. <laughs> Who's this lady? So, she was his uh, assistant. And who is his? <laughs> Vince McMahon, like, owns it. He so he's is the big- WWE. He's the biggest right, boss there can be. Right. This is why it's such an insane story, because it didn't happen before me, too. Mm. This happened like 2018, 2019. <sighs> Everyone learned you can't be in a position of power and do sex with your assistants, your your, your workers. Yeah, you need to consent to a dump on the head. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard. And it's fucking batshit. That's the headline, and then the story gets more and more batshit. But, so I don't know anything about this story, but my first thoughts are 78 I don't know if you've still got... Can you get an erection, let alone control your bowels? So you're you're saying he didn't have control of Ex- his pooping. Wh- oopsies. <laughs> Whoopsies. They do wear adult diapers at that age. Honestly, that's old. Mm. <laughs> I, I think... So it is allegations. Um, he's denied the allegations. Apparently, she was getting payouts to not talk about what happened. Mm. And then he just stopped paying her. And so he's like, well, now you've broken the NDA. I'm going to tell this exact story about how this, the, the famous one or the one that's in the, the headline, threesome with one of his mates. He Mates? Friends, or mates? Friends, oh, mates. friends, friends. He poops on her. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> then goes, he goes and has a shower, leaves her and his mate to do sex. Then comes back and does sex while he's all clean. There's so much wrong with that. Because you're just going to have to have a shower again. I mean, if I'm in an orgy and someone shits. Mm, I think that's the orgy done. That's it. It's like ringing the bell. Unless it's a shit, like a poop orgy. Mm. You're already at maybe Splendor in the mud. And mm. It's like, oh, well, what's shit, what's not? I mean, maybe I've got sensitive smell, but that would be horrific. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. But this, um, this story, it kind of um, broke. Uh, Royal Rumble was on over the weekend. Have you ever followed Royal Rumble? I don't know, but I might start. It <laughs> sounds interesting. About that. It's fucking so fun. So what it is, 30 wrestlers mm. enter the ring. And they all get their own entrances, which is the most exciting thing. That would of, take a while. Of wrestling. It? it does take a while. It takes over an hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. And I watched, actually watched it on Sunday. Um, and then they can only be eliminated by getting flipped over the top rope, and then their feet have to touch the ground. So heaps of the time they're like, oh, their feet's almost, oh, no. Somehow they get the strength and the guy like pulls them up because it's not their time to go out. Because <laughs> <laughs> they've got like, they know who's. I don't want to say it's scripted, but I think they may know who's supposed to get out in which order. Yep. And then they also, the other funny thing is like, it's wrestling, but when there's an entrance, everyone watches the entrance. So they all sort of just stop in the ring and we like fake hit each other and sort of just put their don't hands on Don't do anything their exciting. Yeah. And they're all tired. They're always tired. Within three minutes of throwing punches. No, three punches. They're like mm. on the ground. Cause they don't do cardio. They just do steroids, I think. <laughs> well, I thought it was acting, but that's probably yeah, yeah. actually it's those big Royal Rumble. They've just, uh, I think the company went public. The Rock became the head of TKO. It's a whole happening. Then this comes out from the head of wrestling, Vince McMahon, and his text got leaked too. Oh, no. This was the 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 cherry on the top, which I wanted. Have you ever read a 78 horn dogs text? Again, this man surprises me. Can have sex, apparently controls his bowels and can text. It's got my mum covered. <laughs> got my mum covered. <laughs> so and what are they? Okay, I'll give you the highlights. Mm. Um, uh, whatever, blah, blah. I love it. That's you, Janelle. Uh, in the future, it's going to be so bad. You'll demand to be fucked twice a day and not just with blank in a three way. 
blah, 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 we'll tie you up, blah, 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 <laughs> pussy. Blah, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> Who can make you scream the loudest? Um, you, maybe I'll just line them up and have them squirt in your mouth, your pussy. Your, oh, my God. The, uh, what I'm doing is this that. This is a strong start to the podcast, Frenchie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome. <laughs> Jesus hope Christ. Your weekend was I hope good. this is your first episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, let me go to another one then. <laughs> Um, yeah, this one. It's just, he's 78, you too. Re your last picture, you need your panties ripped off and three big black dicks in all Ooh. three holes at the same time. Jesus um, Christ. Blah, blah, blah. They'll all come inside you. I'll turn you over and just jack off over you. My God. <laughs> he had to step down, obviously. Um... <laughs> This is insane. 78, bro. If you want to read it, bro, any that's of the a novel. It's got two pages. I think he was doing fan fiction. Jesus Christ. It's quite well written for an old man texting, though. It is uh, <laughs> very horny. That's insane. So, why the sudden interest in wrestling? You're like going backwards. You're like Benjamin Button. <laughs> it's not that's a like sudden, a 14 year old kid thing. It's not a sudden interest. That story blew up, and everyone's like, holy shit, you see how perverted this old. Old ass man is, and you were like me too. <laughs> no, and I was like, coincidentally, the Royal Rumble was on. I want to see if they make reference to it. I yeah, didn't know okay. if any of the walkout songs might be mm. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory yep. themed. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I don't, no, that's funny. I don't know. It just it's just the way that's it wild. is. If you were a wrestler, you'd probably go villain route. Yeah, the heel. Yeah, the thing. That's the thing. <laughs> As you grow up, boys like the faces and, and men like the heels. It's it's called the heel if you don't know it. They're they're the they're the bad boys. It's the weird they're the ones interest that interest of yours. <laughs> they're the ones that like 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 tear up the American flag and stuff. Yeah. Um. I saw. I think the Aussie in it was a heel. He was so bad, but he wasn't even good bad. There was an Aussie right. during the Royal Rumble. Uh, I only saw his intro and he started talking. I'm like, oh, that's what we sound like. I forget that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I'd go full stereotypical. Uh, you'd have to go. What's, what was the Aussie called? He was like the meanie from Sydney or something like that. It was like <laughs> that. <laughs> it wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> who would who? What wrestler would you be? Would you go the the hero? Mm. I feel like you need that validation sometimes. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'd go character then, whatever it Yeah, you'd into. be good at a character, Yeah, actually. I'd want to commit to the character before deciding whether he's good or bad. Accents? Yeah. Accents for sure, of course. Yeah, I think the heel is just more fun because there's those boos. like, oh, here I am. Everyone's like, boos. Like, ah. I love it. <laughs> Fuck into the Constitution. The I guess there's less at risk yeah, because <laughs> it's already the worst thing that could happen from an audience from coming from comedy. The last thing you want is everyone in the audience to hate you. Exactly. If you're purposely... So to kind of be freeing. If you're purposely trying to bomb, it's it's freeing. If you're purposely wanting mm. the crowd to hate you, the only way you lose is if the crowd likes you and then they're cheering you. Yeah, and that's not the worst. That's for sure. What are you trying to look up now? The, the Aussie wrestler. There's Rhea Ripley, who must be the, the female one. Right. I don't think it matters. It matters to me. Mm. Jamie, look that up. Mm. Jamie. <laughs> Fine, I give up. My fucking 5G. Damn, dude. But yeah. How's the weekend? Did you listen to the Triple J hottest, hottest 100? I didn't, but I thought it was funny because I saw someone post the actual list of like who was on it. And as I've gotten older, I listen to the radio less, mm. which is the opposite to the old days. I feel like people got old and they listened to it more. But um, <laughs> I was looking at the list and there was few songs I even recognized. Did you find that? Uh, I, I, I knew enough bands. Okay. I'm going to give you an artist and you're going to tell me the song that got in. Easy. Done. Okay. Doja Cat. Oops, I said what I said. Paint the town red. Nice. She was number one. I know that number one. Number one, G Flip. Doge. G Flip had about 13 in there. Yeah, she won some kind of record I or mean, something? Yeah, they won some kind of record. Oh, they? I think so. Good for her. Damn. I always think Jesus. G Flip should. Is, is G Flip good at skateboarding? 
Sounds it feels like it sounds a, like a skateboarding move. Or is like G flip, like gangster flip, and it's come some kind oh, of wrestling move. Callback. Wrestler. That is a good name. It'd be hard being a wrestler with having no flipping ability because they're they're crazy athletic. If I knew judo, I'd probably flip people <gasps> everywhere I went. <laughs> I, I know what one of my finishing moves would be. What's that? The slug. How does it work? So with wrestling, you have to. There's moments you got to suspend your dif- disbelief, mm. and so I need to do something where they like it sticks them to the uh, somehow hypnotize them, and they stay standing up. Okay. I don't know exactly what, like some sort of hypnotizing or yeah. like a lock. Like if I can think of some, like you know when you get punched in the back of the back, back of the back, okay, <laughs> as opposed to the front of the back. Yep, yep. <laughs> in the back near the spine, it like locks them in. Sure. And then I walk past, and I'm like, I'm doing a slug movement with my hand, and so they're like, like this- Oh, he gonna slug him, he gonna slug him, uh, and I drop down and I slug into him. While they can't move, I'm to keep slugging into so him. So kind of like a slow bowling over. ball, going really for that final slow pin. bowling okay. ball. Yeah, That's like a it. cool finishing That's move. Pretty good. That's pretty a cool good. finishing move. And then the shoey, obviously. So G flip. If I had to pick a G flip song, uh, oh, celebration. Mazda's driving. The worst person alive. The worst person in life. Okay. Mm. Fuck. Yeah, I know. Like, and then it got to like Dom Dollar. Couldn't tell you one of his songs. Dom Dollar. DJ. Him, Everyone couldn't. calls him Daddy Dom. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> Just you. <mainly. laughs> That's his name, bro. <laughs> what, what do you reckon his song would be called? Rhyme Dust. Nope. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, that was, that was fourth actually, but that was with MK. Okay, okay. Uh, Burning Man. No. That's a good DJ song. Um, Tinkle Winkle. Yes. Damn, how do I know that? <laughs> Saving up. I just thought it was funny. I was looking at the list. You're yeah, like, doing the top five. and okay. okay, what was the fifth song? <sighs> Honestly, never heard of it in my life. I know Teenage Dads had heaps of songs in there because I was just following Not it like- the top ten. What songs were getting in there? Not in the top ten, but in the countdown. And I'm like, shout That's out to the, five. the teenage, teenage Dads. Prada, Fred again. Yeah, Fred was cooking this year, remember? No, number five, I said. Casal, Ray, and D Block Europe. There Fuck you go. me. There you go. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, Jack Harlow, you fucking hacks. Oh, how does he make it? Sweet semen, that's Bruh, how. Bruh, that's so hack. You might as well listen to Nova, you fucking losers. <laughs> <laughs> Nova. Put on some 96.9. If you're going to vote Jack Harlow into number eight, number nine. <laughs> Oh, I'm a bad boy. I choke you. I'm not a killer. He's okay. Real talk on Jack Harlow. Mm. He was hot and now he's not. You used to always say he was hot and I was always like, what are you talking about? And now he's not. I think you've changed, man. He hasn't <laughs> changed. He's been consistently not hot. <laughs> like changed. he's grown. Your taste has changed. He's grown out his Amish beard, bro. <laughs> he's got his like weird Ted Bundy glasses he's rolling. Not Ted Bundy. He's a serial killer. Dharma. He's, he's got Ted Bundy. He's got they both wore glasses. Yeah, he's he's got his serial killer glasses on. He's got his fluffy pew beard, <laughs> and then he always like tries to do like sexy things. It's like, bro, come on, Jackson, come on. No, nah, no good. How? What I did do this weekend is the uh, the worst thing you can do. There was like noticing leaving the house, constantly tripping over our shoes. We mm. have a lot of shoes in mm. our house, so I was like. Tonya was off doing something. I'm like, I'm going to go to Ikea and sort this shoe situation out, you know? Yeah. But the problem is you go in Ikea, everything looks cool. You know, they know how to put a house together in a warehouse (laughs) and everything looks so great. And then towards the end, you're like, fuck, I'm going to have to build this. You start realizing I'm going to buy something here. Now I've got to fucking build it. And they do this great thing where they don't give you instructions that are wrong, but they're quite vague. Like some of the pictures, like the bolts could be either way, you know, like it's like they print it on like tracing paper. So you can't really tell what the fuck's going on. Mm. Almost. I reckon Ikea, because it always causes arguments, right? Yeah. It puts you yeah. in the worst mood. Oh yeah. Oh, You've yeah. got these little screws and this shit's like falling apart. Yeah. 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 Were you doing it together? She was out. Oh, phew. So I was smashing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing a good job. She <laughs> came home for the very last step, which oh, no. was oh, putting no. the drawers oh, in. No. 
<laughs> and the draw thing, the kind of latches in the image, it was very unclear whether they were this way mm. or this way. Mm. Very hard to see. Mm. So up or down, mm. I obviously put them the wrong way. Mm. We're trying to put these drawers in. All fits together. Looks great. Oh, no. Start putting shoes in. Fucking avalanche. <laughs> Huge bang. Everything like half my work. Like it chips some of the fucking thing I just bought. I'm just like, oh, get fucked. And I reckon they do it on purpose. And this is some kind of IKEA conspiracy to stop other countries from breeding because they cause arguments and break up couples. What do you reckon? <laughs> it's a long game. It's a long game. It's but those game. Swedish are sneaky. I think it, what it could actually be, that's a good uh, That's a good concept. How about this? Mm. Like Truman Show. Okay. It's a Swedish reality show where they just watch <laughs> <That's so laughs> Australians funny. trying to put together their oh. furniture where they've just done a few of the wrong instructions. Oh, that's great. It's like mind games. Who have we got tonight? Oh, we have a couple from Sydney. Oh, wait. He almost finishes us, and then she gets home, and it all goes to hell. <laughs> Stay tuned. It honestly could be, and I'd probably watch it. I'd watch that, bro. Because it would have been me just confidently like, I'm smashing this. It's all like, it's together. Mm. Pretty good timing. Mm. It's all, all, last step, it all fits together. Then it starts to crumble. Oh, oh. so close. Did you have music going? I think I was watching something maybe, like okay, something with okay. not a lot of commi- No, I'll tell you what I was watching. I've been meaning to watch John Wick for like 30 years or however <laughs> long it came out because it's one of those things where it's fighting for 15 minutes. If you don't see every mm. swing of a punch, you're not going to miss anything. No, that's. So, um, I don't agree with that. That's the one thing you have to watch is the fighting. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that's my That's what background. happened to your fucking shoe cupboard then. Distracted. You roundhoused it, bro. <laughs> 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 you fucking fly kicked it. <laughs> I must <have>. ah! <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm big with you. I completely agree. If mm. I'm making something, I'd rather do it myself. You I don't really act- do have to concentrate. I don't care if it'll take me longer. Mm. I know if I fuck up. One step and then you have to go back. It's the worst. doesn't matter. I know it's me though yeah. and I know to get angry at myself. That's the thing I think... I find, because you'll get angry whether they're there or not. Mm. The difference is someone's going to get upset that you're mad. Exactly. So you'll be mad at yourself. And then they'll just come, even if they're trying to help. And they'll take it on as like, I'm trying to help. Fuck. Oh, I didn't do anything. It's like, I'm not yelling at you. Yeah, I'm (sighs) yelling at the fucking machine. Ah, you dumb fucking machine. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking, your dinner was dry as last night too. Oh, real bad dinner last night. I didn't Did want to bring you? it up. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no, she cooked it. Yeah, I'm getting that vibe. I want to hear about it. I didn't it. want to bring it up. I'm glad you did. Just, oh, bro. What did she cook? She uh, she cooked fish, like, Ooh. badly, and then she had just this weird cheese sauce to just kind of made it like a bit Ooh, gross. Oh, cheese sauce. Yeah, that sounds very it, 80s to me. It just made it a bit like I wanted to throw up every bite I had. And so I ended up... Only having a quarter, and then I had leftover roast vegetables for the rest of my... And you reheated roast vegetables? They're not nice reheated. Still twice as good. How how did she feel about you just ditching her meal halfway? She knew. (laughs) (laughs) She ditched her own meal. (laughs) Oh, That's funny. Tonya um, always gives me shit because once once I put um, cinnamon in spaghetti bolognese, oh, I just thought I'd give it a try. never know, though. It wasn't good, you, oh. but she loves to bring it up. Mm. So recently she was cooking rice and she was on the phone. I know she gets distracted. So I'm like, I can smell burning, but I don't want to micromanage. <laughs> so I'm in the other room. I'm just like, something's burning, but whatever. And she burns the shit out of the rice because yes. she wasn't paying attention. Yes. So now <laughs> whenever I cook, I'll like piss her off. I'll like send her a message being like, hey, I'm about to cook the rice. Did you want me to wait till you come home so you can see how to do it? <laughs> just like so, such a dick. And she gets really pissed off. Never, never let it go. I'm never like, because she always brings it. I'm like, it's my cinnamon. She's like, it's not as retarded as your cinnamon. I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> I, uh, I actually like, uh, was the cinnamon a bit nice? I didn't mind it, but she was like, this is putrid. I was like, this is very fine. I guess it's more of a sweet. It's like a breakfast yeah. spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> it's like how Will Farrell in Elf has like a maple syrup on his spaghetti. Yeah, breakfast bolognese. <laughs> mm. Not bad. I don't hate it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell you through um, 
another story I saw, which was very funny to me, but I've got a strong opinion on it. So Darwin Man, it's wild up there. Darwin you know. Man. The Darwin Man, he's like, that's like Florida Man. <laughs> yes, the Florida Darwin Man of is Florida Man. Accidentally, ex- accidentally, <laughs> strong words, exposes himself at Hungry Jack's drive through after Super Viagra <laughs> orgy backfires dramatically. <laughs> Super Viagra or Super Viagra. So Super Viagra. This bloke, I'm going to avoid his name, even though they say it through. No, our... we can say it. Hmm? Just say the first name. David. David, okay. Okay, David. Not a good name There's for a lot this of Davids story. in Darwin. Oh, yeah. David from Darwin. That's He had like... a Goliath of a cock. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> so Super Viagra. He took... And he wanted to bring apparently it Apparently, a natural uh, kind of stimulant... So it was like kind of like a horny goat weed, maybe mm. like something that's not like Viagra, apparently. So that's what he thought he was taking, but, but what he actually took was something with Viagra and a bunch of other shit in it—a super Viagra. Okay, 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 okay. Did he get it like black market or something? No idea. Mm. I reckon he knew what he was doing because he was heading to an orgy. Okay. Okay. Never done that in my life. Headed to an the orgy. Darwin orgy. It'd be rough. <laughs> I think it was at a hotel or... I don't, I don't want to stereotype. Yeah. yeah. But David's going to a Darwin orgy. There's a lot of... There's a, There's not a lot to do up there, though, so I will say that. It's yeah. probably pretty common. They still have, like, jello wrestling and shit like that in Darwin. That's, that's, a, in the 90s. that's a late night TV after they watch the Swedish IKEA pranks. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, and they watch the Darwin orgies. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's he's gone to this orgy, but he doesn't realize it was Super Viagra. So he says that his dick is like hurting. Mm. He said it was about to split in the side, which is the grossest way to say it. Mm. So he's got this horrible erection that's about to burst. Yep. Heading home after his orgy, I assume. I'm pretty I assume sure. Would, oh, I think after. he's gone and done his business. It won't go down. He's going home. He's got a towel. He said it was excruciatingly painful. Mm. What does he do on the way home? <laughs> Fuck, uh, I doctors. Could go. I assume doctors. You'd think doctors, no, like the does emergency he, room. Does he not do that? No, he wants a whopper. <laughs> okay. He's he just, got a whopper. He just had a few whoppers at the Darwin orgy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be yeah. some double whoppers there. A few there. dry burgers there Triple as well. Triple whoppers. <laughs> yeah. With cheese. Supersized. <laughs> yeah. And so... This story is sus. So he starts going through the drive-thru. And of course, a poor fucking teenager that always works at a drive-thru has to serve old Throbcock. And she must see it. She? Yes. <laughs> okay. what, a co- what a coincidence. <laughs> That's not great. What a coincidence. It's a woman when he's accidentally gone through the drive-thru. And she's seen it. He's He can't be covering it with the towel that well. Especially if it's erect. Mm. You're sitting down. Pants off, I assume, with just a towel over I it? I think you would have just need a shirt on. Mm. I think he had a good lawyer who wrote a good story. Ah, interesting. Homeboy was jerking off in Hungry Jacks for <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know when your mum's like, I'm he sure we've got having, something in the was, cupboard. He was having a Hungry Jack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he was hungry and he was jacking. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Oh, you got it. That's good. Because, like, oh. if you've got this super painful situation, deal with what you got in the cupboard for dinner, maybe. Maybe maybe thaw out those fucking <laughs> steaks that are in the freezer, you know? <laughs> so eating more is not going to help it. That's no. not going to help it go down. <laughs> that. Yeah. So, guys, if you want to go to Darwin... Um, Darwin, Avoid David is—he's actually the Lord Mayor, I believe. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't That's be surprised. Crazy! Uh, it's fully flashed. Do you think he's jerking or just flashed? Hundred percent. I reckon he's saying he's got a towel on it because his hands under there and he's jerking off at the drive-through, and then his lawyers just spun some story. Oh. It seems like a weird turn of events. I want to know what Super Viagra he had. Mm. That's what I really want to know. That mm. sounds fun. Just a <laughs> rocket, bro. You can have it too hard. Mm. Can you? I've taken it before. And have you? There is some times where, like, it's also after a few uh, cums. Okay, a few cums. <laughs> I was trying to think of a cool way to say that. 
<laughs> I like that you haven't said that you were having sex, so we're all visualizing you jerking no, off I'm in Hungry off. Jacks. Yeah, I'm jerking yeah. off. Not in Hungry Jacks, <laughs> but like it gets sore naturally too if you're using it. Yeah, and then okay. also you're hard still. You're like, no, I actually don't want to be hard right now. Yeah. I'm already sore. Yeah. Then you get a little UTI or something too, maybe. Mm. If he's been doing some mix and matching. And then what did you do? Not me. <laughs> it's not fucking me. <laughs> can't. <laughs> Uh, Shout out Hungry Jacks uh, Yeah Sponsor of the episode actually <laughs> I think that is actually Still the coolest thing That we have Hungry Jacks Instead of Burger Kings mm. for It's our, so random For our international listeners It's because Someone in Adelaide I believe Already had the rights To Burger King in Australia And refused to sell it So the whole franchise Had to be called Hungry Jacks in Australia But it's just Burger King Imagine how much they would have offered because they would have had to redo all the branding. It's all the plot, those, It's the plot of the ins- castle. It's yeah. the greatest shit ever. I'd say It's not a house, it's a home. Move. No, it's not a house, it's a home. Bad business move. But I guess we do know that famous Burger King in Adelaide. We're always talking about it, aren't we? That famous, that famous Burger King. Do you want the, the sports update, Tom? Yes. Bringing it back for a second week? Yes. Give me that jingle. He's shaped like a wicket. It's Frenchie talking probably about cricket. Yes. This past week in sports with Frenchie. In the NFL, Taylor Swift has made the Super Bowl in her first year in the league, guiding the Kansas City Chiefs to a win over the Baltimore Ravens. <laughs> <Good on her. laughs> While Detroit crashed harder than their automotive industry in a loss to the San Francisco 49ers. Oh. So you understood that one because I did a Taylor Swift joke for you. Mm-hmm. You like this one then? In the cricket, the West Indies have captured a shock win against Australia, who were ahead all game. Now, I watch a lot of porn, so I'm used to seeing 11 black men coming from behind. <laughs> <laughs> but this surprised even me. Australia seemed destined to win until they collapsed in what's been called the biggest Australian choke since Michael Hutchins. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in tennis, Italian Yannick Sinner has won the Australian Open in five cents against Daniil Medvedev, finishing off an incredible tournament for the young man. In fact, not since Mussolini has an Italian Sinner done such damage on foreign soil. <laughs> Ariana Sabalenka has won the women's final, or the reserves, as Perth's mayor Basil Zempalis calls it. Did you see this? No. He was on a hot mic on an interview. Oh, no. And he actually called the women's final the reserves. Oof. Upon hearing this uh, insult, residents from inner city Melbourne and Sydney were outraged and sent angry tweets for days and days. While Perth's residents decided to vote him in for two more terms, impressed with his ability to tell it how it is. (laughs) (laughs) That's sports. Nice. Yeah, he actually said that. And then he tried to backtrack saying, oh, no, I was talking about some of them before we started recording. It was um, whether they were reading the news. And then they said the women's final was on. And then I said, oh, that's the reserves because no one will watch your news or someone. Jesus. It was so funny, bro. You got to be careful with those mics. Yeah, he was like an old lad being, oh, uh, the reserves, women's job play, uh, two sets. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, cunt, you're on. He's like, oh, God. Uh, that's the worst. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to go to Hungry Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Classic Basil. What else we got to talk about? Oh, what don't we have to talk about, bro? I wanted to talk about... um. So, whenever... We had this experience with Tonya, actually. Um, I think you went to take a photo for her. I've had it before. We go to portrait mode because we think it looks nice, right? Oh. <sighs> Apparently, it's an old person thing. What the fuck is that? I remember you telling me this on tour. What mm. the fuck? Because it goes a bit closer. It does the blur, but it doesn't do it that good. We think it looks good, but the young kids don't like it, Frenchie. So the young kids blur their backgrounds themselves, or they just don't have a blur? They don't have a blur. The blur looks fucking good. Yeah, that's the millennial in you. Read a fucking book. <laughs> It's called Aperture, you dumb fucks. I think Apple just blurs it. I don't think it's like a real thing. No, we don't do it. But like in photography, that's like yeah. arty and shit, yeah. bro. Yeah. How do they, they're just, that's sad. That they, oh, boom, are you using portrait mode? I'm taking a fucking portrait, cunt. <laughs> 
So this is where it starts, okay? So mm. at Christmas, this is going back a little bit. My aunt, she's we're having Christmas at her place. It's lovely. She starts taking photos of everyone. Mm. All the younger cousins and stuff, her kids, start giving her shit for using portrait mode. I go, that sounds familiar. So later in the day, we're talking about it, and she's showing us these portrait mode photos. And we're like, they're all a bit close, like a bit shit. And she's really proud of them. She scrolls one too far. Not what you think. Oh. It wasn't nudes. Okay. That would have been less weird. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got the picture? I do. <laughs> oh, show me. She goes one more. We go, yep, that is portrait mode. Um, wait, who is that? Look a bit closer. <laughs> Dead grandma. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> in portrait mode in portrait in mode in portrait mode but wait not just regular portrait mode you know how in portrait mode you can select like studio mode and it blackens out around them oh them? no that's so dark so grandma done up with all the fucking formaldehyde and everything <laughs> she goes it's the best she's ever looked she looks great look how good she looks and we're like mortified when was that from? <laughs> when she died, like years ago. Wow. So I took a photo of her. I can't show it to anyone, but I want yeah, to show course, it to you. Of course. Um, <laughs> it was killing me, man. Fucking the coffin photo shoot. Bro, just oh. like outrageous to think that's okay just using <laughs> selfies. <laughs> She's justifying oh, it. There. <laughs> wow. You can't justify that with the flower on her. Yeah, it's like really, That's really dark. morbid. It is dark. <laughs> but they're proud of their portrait mode, yeah, these no, old people. But there's not even a depth there. There's no background. So she had some with just the black and just grandma going off into the abyss. <laughs> I, I love that... Um a photo shoot edits. <laughs> Have you seen them on yeah, Facebook? Yeah, it's been popping up for me heaps on Facebook. They're another millennial so thing where funny. we shouldn't be what, on Facebook. Facebook, bro. Yeah, but you understand. Okay, I'll, I will. I will argue against this one, Tom. Okay. Where's the most active users? Facebook. Facebook. There's a billion more yeah. using Facebook than TikTok. Yeah. All you young kids listen to me like TikTok. Everyone's on TikTok. No. People within three years of your age are. And people within three years of death, Facebook. <laughs> Facebook, bro. Facebook My has grandma's a, still on there. <laughs> a billion more active users. That's way better for uh, a, a, us posting and B, Photoshop fail content. Oh, dude, it's so good. I, I looked at one and I went through mm. it and now I'm just getting served them. You've probably got so the same. So it'll be like, there'll be a girl, it'll be like, it'll be a nice photo of her. She'll be like, hey, this is my ex. Can you someone get rid of him? Because I look good in it and you know, we're not together. Yeah. And so they'll like, Put him behind bars in jail or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or they'll shoot, like have him dead or yeah. something. I saw one of a guy and he was just in his bedroom in normal clothes. Mm. And he said, hey, I need to send this to my parole officer. Can you put me in a suit? <laughs> and then people would put him in like a pimping suit. And he's like <laughs> got all these whores behind him and stuff. Like people just go rogue. People are so talented. You don't realize how <laughs> funny the regular person is until, oh, they, get, until they get a chance to shine. I didn't like it on my phone. The problem with looking at it on your phone was it would not favour the top liked. Mm. But online, you could see some corkers. On, on your, you see, on your kinda, laptop? Yeah, it kind of sets it in a better in a better stream. Is it funny? But yeah, there was one of like a chick and she had this really bad outfit on. And she was like, hey, can you Photoshop me uh, with people wearing similar clothes? And it was like they'd Photoshop like the Grinch's head on her and like... Her in Whoville. <laughs> <laughs> we should try to do that. Um, either get on that one or do it with our Patreons. Mm. Try to get there. They, some of them are good at Photoshop. Yeah, for sure. So we'll post. We'll post a photo. It'd be good to get on the actual one. Hey, can you make my hands smaller? I reckon just we can try that. Guys, keep a lookout. I don't. I hey, can't can you remember give what me the a, Facebook. Hey, I've always wanted to have a beard or something. I don't know. Can you yeah, give me funny. a beard? And then they'll put like a guy pretending to be straight next to you Stop. they always do That's, stuff yeah, like that yeah. real clever it's like it's like they got three wishes and the devil always fucks them up so you gotta be real careful <laughs> you gotta be specific real specific yeah, yeah I want a million dollars and they give him a million dollars <laughs> in monopoly money or whatever <laughs> okay what's next on our 
Yes. Okay, I've got another story. Yeah. Tell your mouth. Shut up. <laughs> I was getting it up. Drew Barrymore yes. was catfished by a bloke pretending to be an NFL player on a dating app. <sighs> Drew. It's hard because she is just like a boomer. Yeah. But also she knows better. You're a celebrity she should. boomer. You're she a celebrity should. boomer. She should have people who can fucking fact check shit. I think you can just DM a NFL player, Drew. You were in Charlie's Angels. Yeah. Well, but it's like so she the guy on the dating app said he was an NFL player for the Los Angeles Rams, LA's mm. team. Mm. Very easy to fact check. Um, and then she was she just like excited. It's like, oh my god, I went to their first practice game. I was so frustrated being a girl from Los Angeles who loves football and we didn't have any teams. And now we've got two teams. It's nice to meet you. My name's Drew. Oh, she's trying to be like oh, like he doesn't know who she is, even oh, if he no. was famous. I know. Um, and then Drew Barrymore went on to reveal that the unnamed man was lying and he was just a musician that thought he was being cute. Explain that. I assume it's the same as the Hungry Jacks thing. I'm just being a little cutie with my dick out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's he's lying. He was trying so, to fucking catfish, obviously. So his profile was all that guy. Yeah. And then he's yeah. I know. I know. So was this on like Raya or one of those celebrity ones? I Is there a new celebrity one? I I I'd, I'll have to ask uh, one of my friends who's on the Raya. Mm. The boys, the boys, they love Raya. Yeah. The interesting thing about Raya, so if you don't know, that's a celebrity app. Yeah, got to get verified by like two people, two recommendations, and they still got to accept you. But you can see people in your area on Raya, including blokes. What do you mean? What I mean is like, well, back in the day before he was dead, uh, Kieran showed me, he goes, look, look, look who's in the area. And I was like, Shane Warne. Oh, like, so it's like, like Snapchat it's like a snap location. Map. You could. Yeah. I don't know if you still can, but that's, you could. That's scary. Yeah, it was weird. Fuck that. Yeah, it was weird. But like, um, I haven't seen the Raya game. Oh, man, if I was single for Raya, pff, only famous chicks I could troll. That'd be the best shit ever. That would be very funny. I feel like you'd get kicked off very quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like they wouldn't put up with that kind of tomfoolery. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. But imagine doing the, the Tinder lines to the famouses. Mm. Who, oh, who's who's a famous chick would be on Raya? J-Law would probably be on there. You should try some of them on Cameo, because that was the problem on Cameo. Once they caught on to you fucking with people, they started blocking you. You, but you could just make a new account. But on Raya, you need approval, so it would have been mm. harder. You'd have to be a famous singer and then change and pretend to be a athlete. <laughs> <laughs> I need a bunch of different names and then to get famous in each of those different yes. names. Yes, yes. That would be commitment. I guess what you could do is if you're a band, you every just member, verify each other. Every member, and then you've got six accounts to get banned, and you can just keep trolling or meeting. No, famous. I'm saying, I'm saying, if you're all famous, you can just mm. verify each other. So you could keep making mm. accounts and then all say yes, that's a real yeah, celebrity. That's true. I think it's harder for the for the blokes to get verified. Girls just got to be a few on Instagram. They're like, oh, you're on Raya. There you go. Oh. You know, it's like a nightclub. Mm. Straight oh, in. All right. Straight in. <laughs> that's rough, man. Mm. I saw um, Drew Barrymore when we were in uh, New York. We went to the Drew Barrymore show. What the fuck's the Drew Barrymore show? It sucked. <laughs> she has a show? She has a show, like a talk show. But then she was like, said something about writers. I was like, people wrote this? It was, it was really <laughs> amateur <laughs> but it's like a proper show over there. <laughs> she seemed fun. nice. She like hung around after for like, I'd say like over an hour just talking to people in the crowd. She and sounds a bit desperate then, doesn't she? She was pretty nice. You should have read her. What? <laughs> what? Whoa. She only goes for footy players. <laughs> That's so... I wanna, I'm going to look up a show. Yeah, it's no good. It was like very basic. It's just like, oh, someone's got a cookbook. They're going to come on and cook. It was like every talk show ever. She didn't really have a spin on it. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, what else do Hi, you want to talk Drew about? I'm Drew Barrymore. I'm Drew... <laughs> Um, I watched that. Uh, have you seen the ads for the Priscilla film? I've never even heard about really? it. Really? Yeah. So Elvis, Priscilla's, Elvis Priscilla, you know that? Elvis, 
the child that Chris- he married. Yes. Yes. So there's a movie out. Interesting. You didn't know that? No. So Jacob Elori again. Another. Oh. He's Elvis. Oh, what another ha- Aussie is what Elvis. Happened to Second Butler? Aussie. It's a different movie. Different True. actor. True. So he was all right. He doesn't really look like Elvis, but in certain angles he kind of did. Like okay. He had the vibe. And um, but fucking the weirdest. Why would you make a film about that? About the so she was like girl 14. that got groomed. Yeah, yeah. She was fourteen. They met in Germany when he was posted there. It was kind of just a biopic. But I think the problem with it is Priscilla Presley's still alive, so she had stuff to do with it. So it wasn't a saying this is fucked up, uh. but it wasn't saying it was great either. So it was just this really weird film where you're like, this seems creepy. Like the friend was like, you should come over to Elvis's place. He loves seeing people back home. She's like a 14 year old doing homework in the diner. <laughs> so then she asks her dad and then this like guy in the army calls her dad and like convinces him. And like, we were like, I was just sitting there like, why is this a film? Why is this a whole <laughs> It's kind of like glamorizing it in a way. Yeah. yeah. It was weird as fuck. That's, that's what like, it kind of needs to be a foreign art house film for that to work and it's going to be it has grim. to be released has to be like 20 years ago it has to be fucked no it has to be like yo because they know those foreign films love doing like grooming and stuff like that like Lolita that mm, they one. love doing that shit whereas yeah. if you're going to release it as an American film they fucking love Elvis there so they don't want to hear about him on the same level as Rolf Harris yeah and yeah. Jimmy Savile it was fucking weird man it was really weird, but like the acting was really good. Like the chick was twenty five, but she looked like a fucking baby. So it made it like, it made you be like, "What the fuck? What are we watching?" Fuck, like Riley Reid. <laughs> <laughs> what? I guess much younger than her. Actors are so lucky when they look young because to get a role as a fourteen, sixteen year old, and they're twenty five, they're going to be yeah. so much better at it. Yeah. They've gonna. They've would have already had heaps of like Elvis type men grooming them, so they know. Like, <laughs> I've got so much I can draw on. So I've much been experience. In one nightclub. Yeah, yeah. No, that was a weird one. I wouldn't recommend it. It was like visually nicely shot. Yeah, good acting. Just the plot. I would not that be watching it. Story was not There's good. I wouldn't recommend zero it. Zero chance. Yeah. I will watch it. So thank you. I'd rather watch Priscilla the Desert. Yeah. Again. Hundred uh, percent. The Roadhouse trailer just came out i heard that with conor mcgregor in it yes i saw like some people being like he shouldn't be in it like there's so many better actors he's a fighter yeah. he's just fighting in it yeah. have you not seen any action film ever yeah none always, of them are better actors they all suck have you seen the expendables did you complain about that have you seen arnold <laughs> have you seen arnold schwarzenegger <laughs> Cunts don't. We don't want a good actor in an action film. They just have to be huge. They just have to be able to fight or be muscly or just look aggressive. <laughs> like, literally. True. That's all we fucking want. True. We don't give a fuck if that would, wi- like, oh, look, he went to NIDA. Oh, get Jacob Elordi to play Conor McGregor. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I just want to believe that this man could roundhouse kick Jake Gyllenhaal threw a fucking wall, and I do. I feel like, I think McGregor would be fine. Like, they would have barely given him any lines, just be aggressive. And he was so coked up the whole time he was shooting. Like, how hard, <laughs> his confidence will be up there. Oh, yeah. And that's all you really need to act, his confidence. He'll probably do, like, a different accent or something. Like, <laughs> he'll start stretching his acting abilities. I like it. The confidence. <laughs> they need to, I think, um, that's what the word on the street is. Travis Kelsey. Mm-hmm. Taylor Swift's boyfriend, he's going to get in acting. Oh, yeah, that's he's pretty I, handsome. That's what I reckon, and he loves Hollywood. So Does he's he? either going to try to get his own show, like he could be a commentator and stuff, but I think he wants to go into acting. Like, I, I think, for what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> for what you've assumed. <laughs> like the McGregor way, because McGregor's supposed to, who was I talking about? This could all be made up. McGregor's supposed to fight in June or July. They've sort of announced it, but he's... When was the last time he fought? Years ago, bro. And then he broke his leg and then he found... He just found the pow pow. And Mm. he's in love with the Coco. So I think they've dropped the the, the standardized drug test too, which would help him, but I don't think he... We'll see if he ends up fighting. It would be fucking sick if he did. He'll just start talking, you know? 
Aye. Getting the coke, just start selling business ideas in the ring, you know what I'm saying? That's how you make the money, bro, mm. talking. Mm. He'd be a good heel. He'd be good in the WWE. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Scottish. The Scottish. It's probably a bit small. They're all monsters. Yeah, they are. Mm. It's a shame. Mm, that's because they're on the Super Viagra. <laughs> dead air, dead air, dead yeah, it's air. Your, it's your turn for a story, <laughs> okay. bro. I've got it. I've got it. I thought this was um, a made up story, and it still might be because, but it's on news.com. Okay. But I think they got it from Reddit. Mm, I don't trust any news articles. They. One prints it and they all just copy it because it's all just people who get right. paid. Not I've entrusted news since they tried to pretend America went to the moon. Whoa, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Excessively farting passenger forces American Airlines flight to turn around. <laughs> Isn't that every plane? That's why I was like, they must have been let it rip. Oh, they must have stunk like fucking shit. Well, you go on any flight and it stinks, but it's yeah. like there's levels to it. So a disgruntled passenger aboard a flight from Arizona to Texas reportedly went on a farting spree. They forcing, were disgruntled. Forcing the plane to turn around on. Were they disgruntled? Yes. So they were farting on purpose? I believe so. But uh, firstly, farting spree. Out of all the sprees someone goes on in America, <laughs> not too bad. Wouldn't mind getting popped a few of those. Not too bad. Okay. <laughs> so it was American Airlines, which is a reputable one. The big stink, okay, it unfolded <laughs> while it was stink. still on the ground. So they've all boarded. Before most people had boarded, I observed that this man was audibly disgruntled about something, maybe hung over, rough day, I don't know. But as soon as he sat down, he was grumbling about something under his breath. Like fucking hell or something like that. Maybe he was Scottish. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> fucking hell. It was Conor McGregor. After the majority of passengers had boarded, the man reportedly exclaimed, you thought that was rude? Well, how about this smell? And proceeded to pass gas. I don't know what provoked that comment, but while kind of funny to overhear, it was uncalled for, especially coming from a grown man on an aeroplane, the user wrote. But the passenger's gross behavior didn't end there. The man who just purposely farted moments ago decided to loudly and condescendingly say, yeah, everybody, let's just eat the smelliest food possible all at the same time. What? The, a guy in the row over replied, if you don't like it, you can fly private, to which the fart man says, that's so fucking rude. And another person chimes in, I think we'd all agree you're the rude one here, the witness added. See what I'm saying? This sounds made up, but it's on news.com. It's confusing. At one point, the flight attendant interviewed and told the transgressor, that's enough. The plane was taxiing on a run day, but then came to a stop. And they went back to the gate and kicked him off. Yeah, I think this guy was just fucking mentally unhinged. I don't think it was about the farting. Having a, having a, having a bad day. just having a little gassy, gassy experience. Just shaking there. I can see him just shaking there, just like muttering like, oh, you fucking think? Oh, yeah. Let's all just fucking eat the same shit. Yeah, it's scary. I'd be like, let's get this guy the fuck out of here. That's why you should only fly private, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that what you do? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, man, save up them pennies. Yeah, that's the best. Okay. Is it my story again? Yeah, bro. Okay, well. I've got my bucks coming up, Tom. Oh yeah, you're getting married soon, dude. Soon, couple months. Fuck, you got to get all the all the farts out. Mrs. has got her hens coming up. Oh yeah. So what I thought, <laughs> gotta get all the farts. What does she do for her hens? Go to a fucking look at a few scarecrows. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap shot. <laughs> Dad, yeah, she's gonna go twerk on some scarecrows <laughs> in a farmer's field. What do you fucking mean? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't even want to. Um, so I thought to give me ideas for my bucks, mm. I wanted to look up the worst things to happen on bachelor parties. Oh, God. And I found t 12, 15 good ones. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read them out, the headlines, and you tell me if you want to hear more okay. about them or not. Mm -hmm. um, I'll start with a big one. I assume you, you'll want it. People are pissed after a bachelor pra party brought a sex doll to the 9-11 memorial. Oh, God. 
Groups of men should be cancelled. It should be not allowed. You need and a woman in there. And then you can see the picture of them doing selfies at oh, Ground Zero. Dude. British stag party. Oh, of course. A couple of lads on tour. They were promptly asked to leave. But do you think that's the worst place? To take one? To, to oh. have your... Bucks party. Well, your single life is ending. It's a big step. You want to know that's like... You want to go to rock bottom, ground zero. That's what we're saying. Mm. Is what's worse, getting married or... <laughs> you don't have to do it, man. <laughs> I think... <laughs> you don't have to do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think British stag dudes are like next level. I think just British dudes all together are just crazy. Drank. They just do riots. Okay, let's go to another one. Man sticks his head out of top of party bus. Dies. Oh, God, the old hereditary. Mm. God damn. Do you want can, more information on that? I feel like you it, kind of, it kind of tells you what happened. Yeah, okay. Homeboy thought he could stick his head out and decapitate it. Kind of, kind of got it. Not fully decapitated, okay. but no? yeah, it wasn't. Four die in bachelor party boating accident. Okay, I'm not sure. Wow. <laughs> and these are ideas? <laughs> no. These are ideas you want to do? <laughs> these are the worst things to happen oh, on a bachelor okay. party. <laughs> these are not ideas. <laughs> Okay, these are. It's a bit darker than I remembered when I planned this. I planned it last week. I thought it was funny, like the nine eleven one. Jeep drives off cliff during. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I think you're fucking putting this out into the universe. Well, neither. Pe- oh, okay, neither the driver were killed. Two other men were okay. Bachelor dies after mysterious fight. Holy fucking! There's a lot of deaths. <laughs> one. Bachelor, ba- bachelorette paralyzed a pool party. I feel Fucking like, hell, what I f- have I got to? I feel like this is classic Frenchie. You read the first one and you're like, this is gold. I've got this This sorted. Ba- six, bachelor shoots coke dealer. Jesus. That's funny. I guess. That's a bit funny. Bachelor pukes on stripper. That's more the there like, we go. light stories. There we go. Jesus. There we go. And then he dies. <laughs> <laughs> that gets decapitated. <laughs> Old man beats bachelor party with golf club. Okay, that's funny, huh? Okay, Florida man. Okay. 61-year-old James Hines was charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon after he attacked men on a Jacksonville Beach golf course. Enraged that the five bachelor parties were taking too long and weren't playing the game right and were malingering... Hines began hitting balls at them from about 200 <laughs> yards away. When someone threw a ball back at him, he drove his cart into the group, running over one dude's oh leg, God. yelling, you need to respect your older elders. The old man bashed, the, bashed him with a golf club, breaking it over his head. A brawl erupted and comically tumbled into a sand trap before police arrived. Jesus Christ. Well, that's a fun one. Yeah, that's fun. Maybe we'd do that. Ski star... Punches lung at bachelor <laughs> bachelor party. So what what type of vibe do you want for your bachelor party? I think I found it in number ten. Okay. Friends handcuff bachelor to midget. Mmm. Okay. That's fun. That's fun. I don't know if they paid for it or not. Trying to walk <laughs> through a crowded bar with a midget on your arms very difficult. Blah blah blah. Every time people took pictures, the midget would have to grab his nipple. You're really saying the M word hard. M word. <laughs> midget. Can you not say that? No, nah, it's offensive to what, midgets. What about dwarf? Uh, little people, remember? Yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to look up on ChatGBT some, some actual ideas for you. Okay. 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 What type of vibe? Because I just want to give it another prompt. Bachelor parties, ideas. Lads, activities. Activities. I like activities. Okay. Let's see what it says. Planning a bachelor party involves a mix of traditional and unique activities to ensure the groom-to-be has an unforgettable experience. Here mm. are some ideas across different categories to consider. Yes. Adventure in outdoors. Skydiving or bungee jumping. No chance. Camping or glamping. Terrible idea. Off-road or ATV tours. Not when Jeeps can drive off cliffs. That's true. Fishing charter. You'll have sex with a trout. <laughs> Paintball or laser tag? You don't want to be the bark on a paintball. That's true. Because they've got all these games. I did it once and on a box, and it was like um, 
we did all the shooting games or whatever. And they're like, who, where's the buck? I think they always do that. Do they always do it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's like, okay, who's got paintballs left? Yep. And half did. And they're like, who wants to buy more? I was like, we're not sure yet. And they're like, well, the buck's going to run through the middle of you and you all just get to shoot him. I'm like, okay. I don't think you'd survive that. No. You don't I'm have thin. enough meat. I'm thin. I think they'd go through you. <laughs> okay. We've got more. Don't worry. Mm. Travel and destination, weekend getaway, road trip, international adventure. Whoa. I like, think a weekend getaway would be nice, but then mm. we'd have to organize that. And that's just, people don't want to do a whole weekend. Not with that attitude. Okay. Leisure and relaxation, golfing day, spa day for men, private chef dinner. Spa day for men would be fun. It's pretty fun. I think that would be fun, actually. Put that on the list. Wine or whiskey tasting, casino night. Not for you. Yeah, there's the winner. <laughs> Concert or sporting event, private yacht party. Any of these tickling? I, I wanted her to do a sporting event, but it's uh, I want to get like a box there. Okay. Spa day. Mm. I also got this game I like to play called Red Ass. Do you remember? It's like a, you haven't played it. It's like a soccer game. Slapping each other's butts. No, it's like a, it's like you play like Until a soccer red. type game, and then if you score a goal on them, you get to shoot a penalty, and if you get in, you get to kick the ball up their ass. It's a fun game. Okay, so I wanted to play that into some um, driving range and some basketball, just a bit, a bunch of activities, get some sweating out. Mm. Then the spa day sounds good. Into a sporting game. Mm-hmm. Into did that say casino brothel or something? Uh, there was no brothel. Casino strip club. <laughs> Doesn't even say strip club. ChatGPT is behaving. I think that's a given. Yeah. yeah, you want funny strippers, but yes, you don't want like. I was at a party and they had one that was like a middle-aged large woman. Perfect. Hilarious. Perfect. I'd like a wise stripper. Mm. You know, like those old women, like oh, bow, bow, bow. yeah, they take out a tit and tell you a fact. Yeah, yeah. something like that. They mm-hmm. give you good advice. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's nice. That's I think that's what I would like in or like a troll, like from under a bridge. <laughs> an actual troll? Yeah, an actual troll. Oh, yeah. Like we got a oh this is the this is the Bucks troll and it's just legitimately a troll coming around with us. I thought one of your other mates or your brother would organize this. Do you not trust them? Nah, Scotty's going to. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But you can help but him. But you're going to feed him. You can him. help him. You're going to feed we're gonna, him. We're going to have ideas together. You, you don't want to give him too much power. No, 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 no. For your safety. You'll be, you. <laughs> yeah, I I'm think... not worried. <laughs> oh, it was funny. Remember when we did the surprise bachelor party for Justin? Yeah, that seems like the ba- perfect bachelor party. That was very funny. So if you haven't seen it years ago, we did a video where our housemate Justin, he's a bit of a recluse, mm. stay up all night, sleep all day. We were like, let's just throw him a bachelor party, fully planned it. Yeah, because I think your concept was none none of our friends are close to getting married, but we want to go on a bachelor party, so mm. let's throw one for Justin. He deserves it. And he was a party. literally had no idea. Like he was I was like, We're filming tomorrow, so don't plan anything. Yeah. But we normally film sketches, sketch. but we 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 woke him up and took him on a fucking <laughs> whole day of getting pissed. <laughs> Greatest day of his life. Yeah. There was a, yeah, there was a stripper too. Yeah. We did uh, archery. What is that? With the Zor balls? Yeah, we did paintball, didn't we? I think we did. No, no, no we, we did, did the all balls. No, we did paintball we? as well. We did oh, the yeah, Zor yeah, balls. We did as well, do paintball, yeah, yeah, because yeah, we had to film the things. Yeah. That was sick. Mm. Let's do that again. Yeah, it was fun. Okay. Scotty, you can, oh, Scotty if you're listening, organize Just watch that, that video. <laughs> That's us, bro. Okay, good episode. Thank you for listening, Tom. Thanks for me listening. (laughs) Yeah, you're welcome. (laughs) Hopefully someone else was listening. Or some good active listening you did today. Oh, Uh, thank you. Shout out Doja Cat, winner number one. Yeah, dude. Doja. Mm. Doja. Um, We're going to leave this uh, with a... Do we have time? Yeah. With with an improv... We haven't done a song in a minute. Um, We're going to leave it... What's the song about? Well, I think, well, I wanted to do a song. Um, How about Bucks Parties? Done. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's just a loose theme, improvised song for Bucks Parties. Um, yo, yeah, got my, yo, what you know about Bucks Parties? Blah, blah. Yeah. These are Aussie Bucks Parties. Yeah. We're the baddest. 
Siggy in the box, in the box spot. Siggy in the butt, in the box spot. Fish and charter gonna fuck a trout. He's gotta do it. He's the bark. Don't make a noise. Tie him up. Paintball. Yeah. All the paint is raw. Yeah. Put bullets in. Yeah. Time to kill him. Buck starts running. Gun starts pumping. Bro, bro, bro. Buck's gone down. Buck is dead. Shot in the head. What do we do now? I don't know. Just watch that movie Weekend at Bernie's. Got an idea. Let's pretend he's still alive. He's still alive. We go to the strip club. Buck's there. Bullet hole through his head. We tape it up. No one knows. We, we say, it's his bucks. Can we get him a free dance? They said, no. We said, all good, we'll pay. Who's the cheapest? Cheryl comes in. Big swing of things. Big old titties. Yeah. Slap him on the bullet hole. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Got myself with that. Bucks parties. Go crazy. Bucks parties. Getting hazy. Meet up with his chick on her hands. She's still alive. We can fix that till death do us part. Yeah. How'd he find the Bucks party? Blew his fucking brains out. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Moral of the story: Don't kill your friend on a box. Just have fun. Like, just don't. Just go to church. Just or go something. to church and have a few bags. Don't get the guns out. Yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah. Moral yeah. of the story. Yeah, that's the moral. Fuck. Happy birthday, mum. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>